Um, it goes back to my early childhood when um, I first made my little tin boat, uh, cut from a small piece of uh, tin plate and folded up into a, a very simple little boat. I, my mother had given me a three pence and I went to the local toy shop and I saw this little boat there. I didn't know what it was. It said something about a, a magic toy boat and I uh, bought this and took it home and um, followed the instructions and this little thing suddenly popped off when after I lit the candle and I think that sort of really lit my interest in pop-ups. I retired in July 1986 and I was looking for a project to carry on in my retirement. My partner at the time was Rose, Rose Morkel, uh, later my wife, and uh, we started the business together and uh, I had this idea of starting to make little tin pop-ups um, of my own design and to sell them and to supplement my pension. We were living in Peter Maritzburg and uh, I started the construction in the workshop with Rose and uh, we had the pool for testing the boats. Of course I had to learn about tin plate, the various uh, thicknesses and the tempers of tin plate and how to press tin plate and of course I had to make the dies to press our first little boat out. It was a very simple little model pressed out in two parts and joined together and that was our first little model which we called Titanic. It had in fact just one funnel, not, not the usual four. Uh, Rose was very, very supportive. She did the sanding of the tin plate prior to it being sprayed with the uh, acrylic paints and uh, did the testing, which was important, the testing of the little engines. I think I made about 35 different test engines before I actually hit on an engine that really um, gave what I wanted of it, a good powerful engine and very reliable. This is the diaphragm type engine and it has a very flat boiler, it's a little flat pan this. It has a diaphragm on the top which can vibrate, it's made of uh, very thin brass. It has two tubes coming out from it and um, you simply then uh, squirt water down one of the tubes which these two tubes stick out under the boat and uh, then you put a lighted candle under the boiler there. And the water would boil, create steam and it would create a pulse action which would uh, push the boat along. It would blow the water out and then suck it back in and it caused the boat to move forward. The pop-up is generally a little round sort of hull, very uh, simply shaped out, pressed tin. Um, I, I think that my boats were possibly the first that went onto the market that were made in a different way, um, with um, sort of straight lines, uh, folded up, not pressed out. I made them to last and I gave a, a good 12 month guarantee on all my boats. Initially we confined our sales to uh, local markets in Peter Maritzburg, a uh, little bit of mail order, but mainly to markets. And uh, we eventually we decided to try the waterfront in Cape Town, and we set up uh, at a stand in the blue shed at the waterfront. And uh, it was so successful that um, we went back very happy and uh, decided that we would really start producing for the waterfront more than for any of the markets. Mm -hmm. And so we ended up going down every six months to the waterfront with a whole stock of boats made over that period. And that eventually led us to decide to come down to the Cape to be nearer to the marketing at the waterfront. We had developed a harbour where we could demonstrate the boats and this was taken down on our little Ford Escort all the way from Peter Mountsburg to Cape Town. And it was quite a journey with the big trucks passing us and Rose holding up onto the a hand through the window and holding the, uh, the harbour on, but I'd say, no, no, doll, that's all right, we tied down, it won't come off, but uh, she would still hold on that, on that uh, roof carrier. She was a person who, in, who always gave of herself in any sort of communication. She would um, always engage that person with questions and 
get their confidence. She was a she was a very good saleswoman. She really was. I owe a lot to her for the uh, what I feel that was the success of Rosebuds was that uh, Rose uh, the input that she put into it, that she made it to, to it. Apart from the little um, pop-up boats we made, we also made a little uh, yacht, as you see there, uh, which was very successful in selling, and it was based on the same hull as the little pop-up engine, uh, two halves pressed together. Here you see some of the different uh, models that we made. They were named after Rose, and they carried uh, largely her name, not all of them, but this was, for instance, well, her favourite boat was the Cape Rose. I think because she came from the Cape, so she loved this particular one. Little African Rose. This was a very popular model with the ladies, I think because of the little canopy which opened up. We also produced what uh, Rose and I called the granddaughter boats. They were named after both her granddaughters and mine. The three funnel was named after my mother and that was the Mary G. We advertised in two British magazines. Uh, uh, dealing in toys and we used to uh, get a lot of um, requests for our brochures. So a lot of our stuff went overseas and these boats today have become quite well known overseas now and um, appear to be now trading actually on, on the market now as, as vintage toys to some extent. Uh, we also uh, accepted commissions uh, from anybody wanting a particular boat. I had a book where um, people could look through this book and uh, it was a book on ships generally. People could look through this book and say, ah, I want to, I'd like that model for my son or for myself and then I would make it up for them. Uh, on my retirement trip we had come through Napier, we knew about it and we saw a house for sale down here. We came to look at it and it had business rights it was on the main road, on the tourist route, which we felt was ideal for selling the boats. And an idea I had of setting up a toy museum one day here. Yeah? Part of the property had this very old, large sheep building. It was an old sheep crawl. And um, I converted this, I used this for the structure of the toy museum. And I worked for, I think it was three and about three and a quarter years, just at night, and I slowly got the job done. Uh, there was very little in Napier at the time, business-wise, and I think we set up about the first board along on the main road, and which um, caused motorists uh, to stop in Napier and have a look at what we had here. And it built up very nicely, and uh, eventually uh, the museum became quite an icon in the, in the area. My eldest... Um, piece that I think I have is a um, 1902 um, locomotive, a steam locomotive built by the company Bing in Germany. Really I, I particularly uh, concentrate on toys built before World War II and I have a particular interest in the uh, Hornby trains particularly. Rose, um, unfortunately I lost Rose and when she passed away I lost a lot of the support that I was getting from her. A little bit of me went out when she passed away. And um, I uh, carried on the museum, but it was very difficult without her help. So I tended to give it up slowly, and uh, we closed down in 2013, in January 2013. I've never stopped making toys. I nowadays concentrate particularly on uh, models that I make for my own collection. I have uh, built boats that are elastic powered or driven by proper steam engines, clockwork or electric, so this is what I've been concentrating on now in recent years. The uh, pop-up was invented in 1892 and it's been used only for driving toy boats. And what I've done is that I've uh, I managed to build a pop-up that is now land, land-based. And I built my first little locomotive driven by the pop-up engine. I think, I believe it's the first time ever. Uh, one of the other interests that I've had over the years is um, also to restore distressed old uh, toys, uh, getting them back to their uh, original condition. 
where parts have missing I have made the parts very carefully and tried to reproduce them exactly as they were. The rose boats themselves have been for me a link with um, um, my beloved partner Rose. It has brought to me great pleasure during my pension years and um, yeah it's a culmination of uh, just something that I've always been very fond of and uh, to me it's sort of brought everything together. I set about making a high quality toy. I put everything into it, good materials, good construction, uh, good design, well tested. I meet people that uh, bought our boats many years ago and they say that uh, they, they, the boats are still going and that in fact now they, um, their grandchildren are enjoying their boats. Uh, the same boats are still going well and uh, they, they're still getting great enjoyment out of them. So to me that is a sign of that we did uh, produce a quality boat.